Let's see a demo of CMDB classes for data center power management, a new TNI feature in the Zurich release. This feature introduces new CMDB classes that enable us to perform data center power management and model power chains. If we look at the model, we can see existing CIs, such as the data center itself, represented by a site, the rooms represented by locations, which now can contain the new power facility classes, such as PDU, UPS, HVAC, etc. In addition, we've added a power connectivity class that enables us to model the relationship between the different power facilities and also consumption data for power and temperature. These are used for the metric overlay of the data center uh, floor map that can be uh, seen in another feature demo this release. We've added another uh, subset of non-power facility related data such as RecRail and Wire Manager. This can be observed here. As a data center planning agent, I would like to be able to model the power chains going all the way, for example, from the utility power grid through transformers, maintenance bypass panels, PDUs, all the way to the RECs itself and the relationship between them. Oliver Jones, um, a data center planning agent, uses uh, the telecom network inventory workspace. He goes to the list view and we have a new all facility list view which contains all of the new power facilities, CIs, that were introduced. We can group them by class. And uh, let's pick the power generator. We have a couple of uh, demo instances for this. If we click one of the power facility uh, CIs, we can observe the power supply chain and the relationship between it. So this power generated is connected to a switch gear and UPS. Same if we open a maintenance bypass panel. This will have relationship with even more uh, elements as, as it powers the panels and the transfer switches and the generators. This list also allows us to create new CIs. We select a facility type. We can observe all of the new uh, classes that were added using this list. And we can pick a uh, rec rail, for example. Or we can set the attributes and the specific TNI attributes using the well-known form. That's it for today. Thank you for showing interest in ServiceNow TNI.